Champs Extra Point is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Also brought to you in part by Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to doughraiser.com for details. Sarah Chevrolet, we're building excitement. And Henry Ford Sports Medicine, together we can. Welcome back to Southeast Michigan's only local high school football show. This is where you get 10 games of prep highlights from around the metro Detroit area. You have a front row seat of checking out some of tomorrow's top stars in the world of college football and in many cases the NFL. This is State Champs Extra Point and I'm Lauren Plant. And I'm Lauren Jabara. And speaking of future difference makers on the football field, Former Orchard Lake St. Mary's Eaglet, James Ross, is now a staple of that revamped Michigan defense. Will his brother Josh join him soon? Scott Bernstein will talk about it. Al Fracasa is back in the coach's corner as well. Absolutely. It was an awesome week seven of the high school football season. You ready to check it all out? Roll it. We are better. Man to man, unit to unit, team to team. We are better. We have to go out there tonight and prove it. We start the first quarter of the show with a Mack White showdown. Gross Point South on the road to take on the 3-3 three three Utica Chieftains. Major playoff implications for both teams. GP South winners of three in a row. This combo have been tearing it up lately. Junior quarterback Logan Michael to his favorite target, the senior receiver Andrew Trost. 32-yard touchdown, 7-0 Blue Devils. Three seconds ago in the first quarter, the pitch to the Blue Devil junior running back Jeff Moore. Three-yard score. Late in the second now, Michael to the junior receiver Connor Brannigan makes the catch with his head. That was a 20-yard pitch and catch, and the Blue Devils roll in this one. The South defense have now held their last three opponents to a combined eight points. Gross Point South cruises to a 30-0 shutout victory over Utica. One more win, and they're in the playoffs. Let's head to the KLAA. West Division throwdown as Howell prepared to take on their rivals, the Brighton Bulldogs. Coming off their first loss of the season, Brighton in black looking to respond. Midway through the first quarter, the senior Joey Clifford down the sideline, 34-yard touchdown, Bulldogs led 7-zip. Howell came in locked in a three-way tie for first in the division, answered on their ensuing drive. Senior quarterback Brett Chaperone looking deep, airs it out, and Brandon Riffle coming down with it for a big 38-yard gain down to the 18. That would lead to a Highlanders field goal, Howell down 7-3 at the half. Move to early in the fourth now. Brighton going for it on fourth and goal. Clifford gets the call. Bingo! Bulldogs hang by a final of 14 to 11. Dogs are dancing into the playoffs. Their record improves to six and one. Let's go no huddle for a three pack and stay in the KLAA. Kenton taking on Plymouth. Phenomenal first half for Chief Junior running back Marcus Sanders. Three scores including this electrifying run to the end zone. Kenton led 20 to 10 at the half but the silver and black came back. Some successful trick plays turned the tide, and this is the senior Cameron Stella. Look at him go. He has reservations for six, 79-yard touchdown. Plymouth beats Kenton for the first time in four years, 30-21 to the final. Wildcats lead the South with a 6-1 record. Next, to the OAA, Farmington Hills Harrison in white taking on Farmington. Second half action, game tied at six. Good fake by the Hawk quarterback, Anthony Giovanni. He hooks up with Cordell AG, 18 yard touchdown. Harrison held a 13 to six advantage in the fourth. Farmington with a four and two record, responds early in the final quarter. J. Drew McGovern looking very poised on the run, chucks into the end zone and Dalen Baldwin comes down with it. How about that? They missed the extra point, so they trailed 13 to 12. The Falcons trying to make something happen, trying to win this one late. McGovern to Andre Sarfor on the halfback option. He'll throw it downfield to Baldwin, just overthrown. Fourth down now, game on the line. McGovern rolling right and the bomb, but the Harrison secondary comes through. Farmington Hills Harrison takes it by a point, 13 to 12. The Hawks are now a very impressive six and one on the season. We wrap with the Biggie and the BWAC. Almont at Algonaut. Almont draws first blood. Boyd Glenn makes it 7-0 Raiders. What a season thus far for the Muskrats. This is fourth down. A.J. Garshet hits Owen Katz for a 24-yard touchdown. We were tied at seven. Amazing Algonac would pull off another outstanding win. Just over a minute left, and it's Joe McKee securing victory. 
the Muskrats muster up a 21-7 win. This team was 1-8 a year ago. They clinch at least a share of the Blue Water Conference title and are 7-0 for the first time in 43 years. Welcome inside the trenches. I'm TJ Lang, starting guard for the Green Bay Packers, former brother Rice Warrior and Eastern Michigan Eagle. So far on Inside the Trenches, we have talked a lot about technique. Gone are the days of big, slow guys playing on the O-line. We now have big, athletic guys playing in the trenches, so we must always work on becoming more athletic. First thing we want to work on is foot speed. We want to go through a progression of drills to help our feet get quicker. On the ladder, we like one foot in, two feet in, lateral step, shuffle step, and the icky shuffle. As with all of our drills, start slow and get quicker as you get comfortable throughout the drill. Take advantage of every opportunity you get to become more athletic. Speed and agility training are just as important to linemen as getting bigger and stronger. For Inside the Trenches, I'm TJ Lang. Inside the Trenches is presented by BSN Sports, game-changing solutions for all of your team needs. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the best high school football show in the state, Extra Point. If you have health or injury questions regarding your sport, make sure to check out our Henry Ford Sports Medicine Minute each and every week here on Extra Point. Sports medicine professionals give you tips to educate you as an athlete. Next, the legendary Alfa Casa is with us in our Coach's Corner, followed by more high school football highlights right after the break. You've seen our pink pizza boxes. They've raised millions of dollars for breast cancer research and inspired thousands of people, just like Wendy, to share their stories. These 12-year-old girls opened my heart wide open and filled me with love. And all of the girls rallied around me and they were hugging me and it literally just broke down sobbing. This October, for every pizza sold and every story shared, we will donate to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Together, we can beat breast cancer. Technological University, you'll go way beyond the books. Professors with real-world experience deliver hands-on instruction in small classes, helping students land co-ops, internships, and research projects. By graduation, 80% of LTU students have jobs or plans to pursue master's degrees. And most Lawrence Tech grads earn more than their peers. So if you're ready to embrace your possibilities, we want you at LTU. SnapCab is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer, and we're still making the best deals every day. During the Chrysler Anniversary Celebration, lease a 200S for $139 a month for 24 months, or a 300 Limited for just $199. Celebrating 25 years of giving customers a superior buying experience. That's SnapCab on Telegraph Road in Redford. SnapCab, Metro Detroit's original. SnapCab, SnapCab. I'm Lauren Plant, of course, joined by uh, the great coach, Al Fracas. It's here every week, and it's really fun just picking his brain, talking about uh, football, talking about high school football, which is something he knows well. He did it for over 40 years, lots of state championships, lots of nationally ranked teams, and just a wonderful human being. And it's great that he can be here and join us each week to talk high school football. And You know, one of the things that uh, is the most difficult to deal with is injuries. How a team deals with it is what we want to focus on. How do you deal with that? How do you talk to the team about it? Uh, we have a saying that I use a lot, of pay attention to detail. It's kind of hard to pay attention to detail when one of your best friends on your team just got hurt and he's done for the season. Right. But you try, you, you try to understand. You might not have 
the kids uh, uh, perform and practice uh, like, you know, before that injury occurred, but they're going to have to go through it. And you have to accept that. Always have that kid that got hurt to talk to the team because it, it really helps. I don't know if coaches do that enough, but when you do have a player like that uh, who has a serious injury, having him be there, that goes a long way. And uh, what a great morale booster, I think. We had a kid that got hurt just before his championship team uh, in uh, 2013. And uh, he came up to me and he says, Coach, I know I'm not playing, I'm just dressing uh, for the game, you know. And uh, could I talk to the team? I says, certainly. And he gave one of the greatest talks I've ever heard, you know, from the, from the kids, inspired them. If you can believe it, we're only at halftime of the Coach's Corner. Seven episodes in, we have seven more episodes to get to with Coach Alfred Casas. So make sure it's appointment viewing each and every week, Coach's Corner, right here on Extra Point. Coach's Corner is presented by Snep Camp Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, a Detroit original on Telegraph Road in Redford. Proud supporters of Michigan High School Athletics. I'm Dr. Patricia Kolowicz, an orthopedic surgeon with Henry Ford Sports Medicine, and we're here today to talk about stress fractures. A stress fracture occurs in the bone, and the bone can get overused just like muscles can. After repetitive activity, if you get a painful spot that just isn't going away, you should be concerned about a stress fracture. If you think you have a stress fracture, see a professional, an x-ray or sometimes an MRI is needed to diagnose this. The treatment is rest, and usually you can get back to your regular activities once the bone heals. Again, I'm Dr. Patricia Kolowicz, an orthopedic surgeon from Henry Ford Sports Medicine. Download our sports medicine app and learn more at henryford.com sports. The Sports Medicine Minute is presented by Henry Ford Sports Medicine. Together, we can. What's up, high school football fans? Sarah Chevrolet is proud to recognize the hardworking people in our communities with the Sarah Chevrolet Community Awards. Each month, they're awarding one outstanding student, athlete, and teacher. That's up next, along with our Coach of the Week, presented by Lawrence Tech. He's from a team this week who has a few big wins under their belt, along with one huge upset. You don't want to miss out. We'll see you guys in the third quarter. Message your doctor with any question. Help when you need it. With hours that work for you. Early and late appointments. Same day care. Online test results. Together, we can make healthcare your way. Call, click, or come in. We're Henry Ford. Together, we can. All right, class, all right, class, settle down. Let's review. At Sarah Chevrolet in Southfield, you always get more money for your trade. How much more, CJ? Up to a thousand more in Kelly Blue Book. And if you're in a lease, Sarah can help you do what? Get out of your lease early? Ow! CJ, see me after class. Lease a 2016 Cruise for just $99 a month or a 2015 Equinox for just $84. Right now at Sarah Chevrolet in Southfield. How many times? Just keep writing. Can't wait until Sunday to get your high school football fix? Relax. 10 to 11 p.m. every Friday night, tune into the State Champs High School Football Radio Show on Detroit Sports 105.1. Tom Markowski, Scott Bernstein, and me, Lauren Plant, bring you the latest scores and breaking news. We'll take your calls, tweets, and emails. You can listen online or download the app. Great interviews, top-notch analysis, and all the latest scores. It's the State Champs High School Football Radio Show every Friday night from 10 to 11 p.m. on Detroit Sports 105.1. We're the Cronin Law Firm bringing more to the table. When we sit down together, we share our expertise. You've got a legal problem. We know you need relief. Welcome back to Extra Point. My name is Sean Belegian, and this week we head to the KLAA for our Coach of the Week and our selection from Northville, Matt Laddick. 
Coach Laddick is in his eighth season as the head coach of the Mustangs, and the Mustangs are off to another great start. But some things never change as they remain focused on the next step in 2015. Heading into this season, we knew that every team on our schedule uh, was beatable, and we also knew that every team on our schedule had the ability to beat us, and that doesn't change from this point. We have to continue operating as we have, focusing on one opponent at a time. We put them on, strap them up, buckle up, click to the ticket, fellas. You guys play with pride, you play with passion. You got disrespected one year ago. You got slapped across the face publicly. Well, Coach Laddick is known for being quite animated along with his fired up pregame speeches. And he talks about where exactly that passion comes from. I have always had a passion for the game. Absolutely love it. Can't play it anymore. Couldn't play it in college and I'm doing the next best thing which is coaching and making a difference with these guys each and every day. A lot of goals are yet ahead for the Mustangs, but Coach Laddick takes a moment to stop and smell the roses in regards to how well this season has progressed so far. This year has been incredibly rewarding, and it has been because of the chemistry of our players and because of the attitude of our players. The Coach of the Week is brought to you by Lawrence Tech. For more info on its athletic programs, go to ltuathletics.com. Back to the highlights and we start the Huron League as the defending Division VI state champs Monroe St. Mary Catholic Central went on the road to take on the Milan Big Reds. Both teams are looking for the Huron League title. SMCC came in undefeated at 6-0 and it only took one minute and it's the senior running back Justin Carabino busting up the middle and he is gone for the 80-yard touchdown. That puts the Falcons up 7-0. The Big Reds would answer back immediately as junior running back Trace Linneman is off and running. 69 yards to pay dirt, and that ties the game up at seven. We go later into the first quarter, and it's Linneman scoring again with the one-yard plunge. Milan takes the lead at 13 to seven. We move forward to the second quarter, and St. Mary Catholic Central would start to pull away. It's Carabino working his way in for the six-yard touchdown, and the Falcons are up 27-14 going into halftime. More of the same from SMCC. Carabino once again, this time from eight yards out. And they go on to win 41-14. That would clinch the Huron League title for the Falcons. We go to the PSL as Detroit Henry Ford went on the road to take on the Douglas Hurricanes. Winner of this game gets a spot in the city playoffs next week. Henry Ford and White coming in at four and two and we pick things up in the second quarter. Game scoreless and the senior Trayvon Williams gets the pitch and he's gone down the sideline all the way in for the 78 yard touchdown. The Trojans led eight to nothing as we head into halftime. Now Douglas would respond late in the third quarter here on fourth and goal. The senior, Mario Ellis, works his way in for the two yard score. They get the two point conversion and we are tied at eight going into the fourth. We go with 15 seconds left in the contest. The game is still tied at eight. Douglas driving for the game winning score but Elijah Perry gets picked off by Damari King and he takes it all the way back for a 63 yard touchdown. That would be your game winner. As Detroit Henry Ford wins it 14 to eight. That's your final. The Trojans are heading to the PSL playoffs next week. We head to the Down River League. Two teams tied atop the league as Wyandotte Roosevelt was at home to take on the Trenton Trojans. Two minutes into the first quarter, Trenton would get on the board. Junior running back Dontel Hampton breaks free and he's just barely in for the 45 yard touchdown. Trojans were up six nothing after the first quarter. Wyandotte Roosevelt right before halftime well, they answer back. Senior quarterback Tyler Thorrington on the play action to the tight end Hunter Suave for the seven yard touchdown and the Bears lead 7-6 going into halftime. Jumping forward to the fourth quarter now, Wyandotte down 14-7. Senior running back David Long is off and running. There he goes, 80 yards for the touchdown with 7.42 left in the game. That ties it at 14 and it would stay that way as both teams head into overtime. Bears get the ball first, Thorrington hits junior tight end Christopher Simpson in the back of the end zone for the 10 yard score and they lead 21 to 14. Trenton responds on their possession. 
senior quarterback Patrick Zarnecki to senior receiver Kyle Slaughter for a six-yard touchdown. Trojans now down 21-20. The Trojans decide to go for the win and the two-pointer and Zarnicki on the keeper. He just gets in running towards the pylon. Trenton wins 22-21 in overtime as they remain on top of the Downriver League at 6-1. I'm Sean Belegian for Extra Point. Sarah Chevrolet is proud to recognize the hardworking people in the communities they serve with the Sarah Chevrolet Community Awards. October's Teacher of the Month Award was given to Nate O'Neill, a music and video production teacher at Oak Park Alternative Education Center. An excellent teacher and mentor, Mr. O'Neill has been in the music and video industry for over 15 years and a teacher at Oak Park since 2013. He truly goes beyond his responsibilities, helping coworkers and promoting his students' work. It is dedication like Mr. O'Neill's that make our community special here in Michigan. And Sarah Chevrolet is happy to recognize his commitment to Oak Park Alternative Education Center. On behalf of Sarah Chevrolet and a formerly Oak Park student myself, I'd like to congratulate Nate O'Neill for being the Teacher of the Week. Uh, he's doing a great job with these kids. You know, and it's great to know that Sarah Chevrolet actually cares about teachers. I mean, there's other professions out there that get a lot more notice than teachers are as a profession. It was a great honor. Congrats to our Sarah Teacher of the Month, and thanks for sticking with us here on Extra Point. Coming up next, Scott and Lauren go in-depth talking recruits from all around the state. That's in the fourth quarter, along with your last batch of highlights. Don't go anywhere. All right, class, all right, class, settle down. Let's review. At Sarah Chevrolet in Southfield, you always get more money for your trade. How much more, CJ? Up to a thousand more in Kelly Blue Book. And if you're in a lease, Sarah can help you do what? Get out of your lease early? Ow! CJ, see me after class. Lease a 2016 Cruise for just $99 a month or a 2015 Equinox for just $84. Right now at Sarah Chevrolet in Southfield. How many times? Just keep writing. FAR Therapeutic Arts and Recreation uses creative arts therapy and recreation opportunities to develop the potential of individuals with special needs as teammates, as family members, and as members of the community. You know, oh, I think even my heart died. I'm so for you today. While their needs are special, their dreams are common. Play hockey, make friends, be a part of a team. Visit far-therapy.org. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your nonprofit organization can sell paper pizza certificates that your customers can redeem for one medium pizza at participating Hungry Howie's locations. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn about, sign up for, and order everything Dough Razor. Request a Dough Razor kit for your group today. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. At Lawrence Technological University, you'll go way beyond the books. Professors with real-world experience deliver hands-on instruction in small classes, helping students land co-ops, internships, and research projects. By graduation, 80% of LTU students have jobs or plans to pursue master's degrees. And most Lawrence Tech grads earn more than their peers. So if you're ready to embrace your possibilities, we want you at LTU. All right, it's time now to talk a little bit of recruiting here on State Champs Extra Point. Scott Bernstein joins us every other week to talk about some of the guys who are making an impact here in Southeast Michigan. And talk about making an impact. We've seen his brother James do it at the next level at Michigan. We see how their defense has improved dramatically from just one year. Well, he's got a brother, Josh Rosh, also who played at Orchard Lake St. Mary's, currently there who has a lot of upside. Yeah, you want to talk about a carbon copy of his big brother. Josh Ross is high impact all the way, sideline to sideline, aggressive, agile, intelligent. He's the best linebacker in the state of Michigan, regardless of classes. He's a junior right now. One of the most intelligent defensive captains, quarterbacks you're ever going to find. He has six power conference offers right now. Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, Pitt, 
Tennessee and Oklahoma. It seems like he's leaning maybe towards Oklahoma. I've heard that he's a big fan of the Sooners. So Josh Ross, a name to be aware of. Linebacker, great prospect. And I don't think we should count out Michigan just yet. All right, that's it here for the Recruit Report. Let's get back to the highlights. Let's see what you still got in your hands. I know what I got. I got my teammate. Oh boy. I got my brother. Yeah. And I'm going to hold on fight. Yeah. Mike Erlatus here with a non-conference battle between two undefeated teams, the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame Prep and the Panthers of River Rouge. Still zeros after one, so we take it to the second with the Panthers threatening. Antoine Burgess on the keeper for six. They would get the two-point conversion, River Rouge out to an 8-0 lead. The Irish were not silent for long. Luke Adams takes it up the gut for the score, and he's still down 8-6. Rouge would answer back with the passing game. Burgess airing it out and connecting with Aaron Vincent for the TD. The visiting Panthers with a 16-12 lead heading into the half. Third quarter, ND would finally take the lead. Once again, it's Adams on the ground. He takes it 49 yards to the end zone as the Irish take a 26-24 lead after three. In the fourth, Notre Dame would put this one to rest. QB Matt Durkin hits Joshua Johnson in stride for six more. That would do it as Notre Dame Prep clinches a spot in the playoffs with the win, defeating the Panthers of River Rouge 33-30. Let's take it back to Lauren to wrap up the highlights. Talk is cheap! There's a lot of talking been going on from this school for a while. Today, we don't talk with our mouth, we talk with our pads! Thanks, Mike. The annual Beef Bowl between Waterford Mott and Waterford Kettering. Mott looking to win this game for the second straight year. Second play from scrimmage. Jake Baldwin finds Zach Law in stride. How about a 71-yard touchdown? 6-0 Corsairs. Mott has been leaning on their Louisville commit and hungry Howie's Mr. Football candidate, Dez Fitzpatrick, all season. That's one TD, and then on fourth down, Dez dynamic. Mott looking in control up 20. Kettering reeling, but on the ensuing kickoff, Charles Walker logging on to the Gone Network. 85-yard touchdown return, captains down 20-7. Just before halftime, Fitzpatrick with his third TD. He also had an interception. Mott goes to 4-3. They hold on to win 33-28. Make sure you tune in next week for another edition of State Champs Extra Point here on WXYZ Channel 7. That's right, if you thought week seven was nuts, just wait. There are gonna be a ton of teams filling out their playoff dance card in week eight, and you know we'll be there for a lot of them. Email the games you'd like to see the State Champs crew at. The address is idea at statechampsnetwork.com. All right, well for Lauren, I'm Lauren. Have a great week. State Champs Extra Point is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Also brought to you in part by Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to doughraiser.com for details. Sarah Chevrolet, we're building excitement. And Henry Ford Sports Medicine, together we can.